So Lauren, thanks for having us out today. Thank you. So you want to show us what's going on? Sure. At least I can get my workout in. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the ceiling is open from the leak that I was talking about. That's right, you had a toilet that leaked, right? Yeah, so the toilet on the top floor overflowed. And then due to a delay with our home insurance, the walls have just been open. When did this happen? March 2021. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really hard <laughs> we just haven't been able to control it because the complex obviously we figured out has a rat infestation we didn't know this when we bought the place and we wouldn't have really known maybe unless the walls were opened you discovered the rat issue when this flood happened the walls got opened up and that's when you saw the evidence of the rat droppings yeah. wow Noticing sounds in this area. Basically, it's just a gutted bathroom. Okay. Um, we soon discovered they're running up and down the pipe. Promptly after that, we just stopped cooking altogether because our kitchen's on this side. So it's been a year and a half. It's expensive too, huh? Yeah. To be able to have to deal with all that. If we had like a banana out, they would take a bite. Another really weird thing we have this little like Ethiopian decoration. They had pulled it into the fireplace. Oh, so we left it here, but um, it was a couple times it's been moved. <laughs> they move it in the night and they, get, they try to pull it into the fireplace. It's a clue! I don't typically see them running free except on the ring camera. That's where I catch them walking by in the night. Okay. At 4.30. <laughs> we have like seven traps down there or something. They walk right by them. Any of your neighbors having activity? Unit A. It's new renters right now that aren't aware of it, <laughs> so uh, I haven't brought it up. Unit um, C is actually really going through it as well. And they don't even have any open walls. I think that where they've decided it's coming out is the fireplace. Okay. Looks like that's it. Looks like that's it. So this is where the toilet uh, it's, flooded out. It's kind of an empty, gross storage area now. We've definitely caught some up here. Most recently, maybe like two weeks ago. When was the last time you heard activity here? I heard activity two nights ago, kind of behind the shower. I would just lie awake at night, like listening to this crazy like gnawing sound. Yeah. I basically keep these doors shut and in my mind, I tell myself they can't come under that door. So that's like my safe place for me and Maestro. Oh. This is my safe room. So that's the other challenge with condominiums is that they typically just don't have parking. The other challenge we're facing is one of my guys called and said the truck's not starting. That's got all our ladders, but we're gonna use our truck to get on the common area ladder to get up on the roof here. I'm really interested in what that looks like. Yeah, they're all sharing one common roof. This unit right here is having major issues and the unit next door. So let's do a quick sniff test in all these vents over here, Victor. Oh, oh, I smell. I just smell, I just smell rodent urine, man. This is our fireplace stack right here. I think I smell it. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Smooth. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, audience, what does that look like? Because we can't see. I don't see anything. Dave, be careful. I know it's steep, man, but I found a suspect area right here. Oh. Oh, yes. We've hit the jackpot. Some markings here, and it goes right into this space right here. Definitely a suspect area. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and document this for Lauren, so that way she can send this common area issue to the board, so they have complete evidence if, in fact, this is the issue causing this rodent infestation in these units right here. So let's do that right now. A few moments later. Let's see how Lauren uh, reacts to this here. Hey, Lauren. Can you catch this real quick? Can you? If you don't catch it, it's okay. You'll just owe me a new flashlight. Ready? One, two, I'm just kidding you. I just wanted to have a smile on your face. You were really ready to catch it. <laughs> See all that rat grease there? There's a lot of markings. No. It's just fully open? Fully open, right up, right into the walls. Oh my God. Hi. Sorry, we're just solving something on the roof. <laughs> Oh, there you go. I see them running off the roof onto the street. Well, we found a massive opening leading right into the building. I've been here not even a month, three weeks. We probably caught about 12. Do you mind when you're available if I can come into your unit and you kind of show me the hot spots? Yes, it's usually actually my car place. 
Okay, so this is a new tenant. She's seeing them jump from this tree onto the roof here, healing a lot of activity. So it does point to this massive hole here in the common area here, which is not the responsibility of Lauren. It's a common area negligence because the stucco is uh, completely wide open. Okay, so remember we were up on the roof and we noticed that this tree was right up against the building. What we noticed here, and Lauren actually pointed this out a while back to the board, is this massive opening right here. I sent photos and I zoomed in. And they didn't do anything about it other than say we'll get a handyman to come out? Yeah, that's yeah. their solution for everything no wonder it's breaking down see and this is the challenge when you live in a condominium complex or an apartment building is that they're just not proactive because it's not affecting their uh, lives so that's why a lot of times you have to hire the right person to come in and really dissect it get up on the roof check all the common area issues but this is purely the hoa's responsibility it's negligence especially if you as the homeowner are emailing the board and the management company and they're not being proactive in getting some Somebody out here to seal something like that up. I'd say that's pretty negligent. So you have a much better case to get reimbursed in those type of situations. So just wanted to offer that tip. I'm just so excited that you found this opening. Oh, I, mean, it I seems know. Obvious. I mean, look it's at actually right from down here. I you can see this. it. It's right there. It's wide open. That's negligence on the board because there's a big hole in a common area issue. But I think it's going to be very important that we set up a, a camera to prove and monitor that the rats are actually jumping from this tree and getting into that hole, your chances of getting reimbursed is gonna be massive if we can prove to them. Day two. Okay, so we're back and I brought my sidekick here, right here, Jim. Just leave in the comments how I really don't need him. I've already found all of the suspect areas, but I do need someone to carry the vacuum for me, so this is nice to have. Yeah, he's the muscle. Let's see if she can tell us a part here. She doesn't know that Jimmy's here, so I'll let Jimmy walk in the garage first. We're back. Hello, Sea Devil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you, Lauren. There was a time that it was like really hot, and we were like A, B, and C. We caught like 20. Had to bring a. Another truck in because our other trucks are either busy or they're not working. What's up, Daniel? So the reason why we decided to build this containment is because we wanna be able to open up this ceiling here and then we're gonna open up below because this seems to be the hot spots right here where they're coming out. Same thing for the neighbor. So this whole area is a lot of dead space. And then right here, right above is where I found that opening, trying to figure out and prove that they are running across and then down in this area right here. So we've got an idea that we're gonna try, hopefully it works. Again, what we're trying to do too is really provide documentation so Lauren could provide this to the HOA for proof. So the more proof we have, the better the case for Lauren to get reimbursement. Okay, as you can see, we've opened up behind the fireplace and there is quite a bit of rodent droppings here. That's just nasty. You can see the rat grease right here. The neighbor's right here, so this is a dead space right here. So it does make sense on how they're migrating through these walls. Ton of rodent droppings in here. So far, it's leading to that massive hole that I found outside. It's good news. My idea is to set up the smoke machine. We're gonna pump it into that hole, and then we're gonna get a vacuum up on the roof and see if we can pull the smoke to the outside where that massive opening that I found give us some indicators and verify if, in fact, that is their runway. And not only that, it's really gonna prove to the board that there is, in fact, a dead space or the runway from that opening all the way down here. This is called the uh, Jimmy rigging. Oh, I get it. All right, so we've got a trap here because we know that this is a yeah, runway here. Look at the amount of rat droppings right there. Typically don't like T-Rexes, but this was here already in the room, so add a little bit of peanut butter. We'll set that bad baby right there. The T-Rex. <laughs> All right, so after vacuuming that out, check it out, you guys. Right there is where the actual opening is to the building. That opening right there leads to all of this chase right here. I think you're onto something. Okay, so I almost never use glue, glue boards to catch rats. I do agree 
it's an inhumane way to catch them. But in this type of situation, to show proof, I can't set a rat trap out here. There's just no space. So I'm gonna put some of this glue down on that wood. If I just catch one, then I can prove to the board that the rats are coming right into the common area. So that's why we're having to do it. We're also gonna set up a camera. All right, here we go. This just, this just gets messy. That's the only drawback, look at that. That's how strong the glue is. Things could get very sticky. For those of you that are wondering, well, why don't you just seal it up and then be done with it? The problem is we can't deal with the exterior because it's common area. So we start tampering with the exterior without any authorization from the HOA, then we're liable for any structural things that we cause. That's gonna need to be wired up, needs to be restuccoed. So that's why we're not permanently sealing that up yet until we can confirm. Then we'll offer the board a protocol for them to follow. And if they hire us, great to do it. If not, then we'll monitor the exclusion work after it was done. So that way uh, Lauren has has complete peace of mind that those rats aren't getting in. But let's take the first step and confirm that in fact they're coming through that hole. Okay, so we're all set up. You can see right there I stuck a glue board vertically as well. And then here is where all the glue is, right next to that hole. All right, so I went ahead and set the camera over here in the corner because I wanted a really nice shot. I hope we pick up some awesome action here. Okay, so we placed a Victor rat trap inside here and then up in this area where there's a highway, right up there. Isolated it from the unit so she shouldn't have any more rats. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, so Lauren, we've got our camera set up outside in that hot spot. We set one rat trap up in the ceiling, one down there. If we're catching rats, that means that opening that we found outside is definitely the entry point here. So right now it's just all about monitoring and confirming that there's no other no other spots. Day three. All right guys, it's approximately 6 a.m. We got a text message from Laura last night at about 10.40. And it was interesting because we exactly told her that if in fact we found those entry points, it is going to be louder than ever. And check this message out. Oh my God, it sounds like fireworks down there. Definitely got something and it's fighting for its life. So we're gonna head back there a little bit later this morning to check all the rat traps and see what we caught. Obviously she was up late last night, so we're gonna let her sleep in, but if she gives us a call, we'll get you guys into the conversation. All right, we'll let her sleep. Hey Lauren. I'm good. How are you? It was loud last night, huh? Oh my gosh. I think they must have been fighting it or something. And where was that noise? Was it below that toilet area? Fireplace? I'm gonna go look right now. Okay. Oh my God. I'm afraid. Oh, okay. There's one. Um, so we got one in the demoed bathroom area on the main floor. In that black trap? Yep. <laughs> we caught one of them. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna check out to see how many rats we caught. Hi, Lauren. Hi. How are you? Happy to see you guys. I know. I'm so excited to see what we got here. Got him good. He didn't even touch the bait. Should really secure this to this wood here. Nice catch. All right, so we're gonna go up on the roof real quick, check that opening, see if we caught anything in there. Nothing, dang it. Okay, so we're gonna leave that camera there for the next seven to 15 days. We gotta catch something there. Okay, so we're gonna modify this trap here. What we do is we just lift this up, and then we take a piece of cloth like this, slide it under and push this down. And then we're gonna saturate this with peanut butter. So with this method right here, they're not able to take the bait. And then they, they tug on this, so it keeps them longer in this kill zone right here versus just putting bait on these feeder plates here. I'll keep that in mind. All 
All right, we're done for today for Lauren. That was a nice catch. Absolutely. We're making progress here. We're gonna continue to monitor. She's gonna be out of town for the next three weeks. She's given us permission to do the monitoring in between. We're excited to put this rat infestation to a close. Anything you wanna add, Jim? Yeah, it's just nice to see the difference between Lauren in the very beginning versus now. You can see that there is a light hope. of hope. Hopefully that was the last rat, but we will monitor while she's gone and keep her posted at the same time. Day three. Okay, day three. We're gonna come and inspect the traps. As you can see, nothing here in the garage again. We got a little juvenile. A little juvenile right there. Who are you people? It's still alive. Got him in the tail. Look at the peanut butter. Just lift it right off that cloth, Jimmy. All right, buddy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you gonna bite me? Come on, let's go, let's go. I know, I know, I know. Cause she's so cute, we'll let him go over here, way back here. He's not getting back in this house. That's always a good sign. After you've closed our entry points to start seeing the babies and other rodents come out, that means that we've disrupted. I think we're bringing this job to a close here. Case closed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and rebate that trap. Interesting here, what I learned is this T-Rex didn't go off, but look at the bait's gone. There's no more peanut butter in it. This is proof that the T-Rex is not gonna catch the juveniles like the snap trap, because he was small enough to go in there and pull all that bait out. Then he came down here and tugged on my little peanut butter cloth. And that's what got them. Good lesson to learn that this is good for the bigger rats, but the juveniles can go right in there and eat the bait without activating this, this T-Rex. This deserves the rat dance. Many months later. So a lot of you ask, do you guys ever follow up like six, eight months later to make sure that the homeowners have no more rat issues? We're heading back to Lauren, no more rat activity. Let's go check in with her and uh, make sure that everything that we did has been solved. I cannot tell you how much, like we can sleep at night in peace. There's no sound keeping me up with the gnawing. I remember the first day I came, you were in tears and now I could see a big, beautiful smile. I cannot tell you what it's like <laughs> to, not, to live without thinking about it. Not waking up thinking like, oh, I have to go check the 15 traps that we have. So you can see how Lauren is just so happy to be in her home rat free. And this is why we do what we do. This is the reward right here. So leave your comments, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.